Hi everybody, well this is the folding knife that I've been designing recently. Um, it's fairly small, compact, designed to be UK legal, so it's got a uh, less than 3 inch blade, I think it's really only 2 inches, um, and it's got no locking mechanism on it, so it's effectively a friction folder design. So, as you can see on here, pretty simple construction, but what I plan to do is export all the uh, profiles from this exact drawing into my CNC mill. Um, going to cut out the blade and the handles and the spine, um, put it all together and see what it's like for real. Unfortunately, I did manage to lose some of the footage of me machining the blade, but um, we got a good amount of uh, decent footage to look at nonetheless. Okay, so there we have it. Again, the colours here are nothing like it's actually showing up in the camera, it's actually a much more uh, fluorescent, vibrant orange. <laughs> so if we just line up the part that I did uh, yesterday with the one it's just made today, Pretty superb to me. And all the holes line up as well, which is a big bonus.
Okay, so just finished grinding the main bevel on this blade. Done both sides, it's looking pretty nice. So I think next I'm just gonna do a little bevel right on the front edges as well, just to give it a little bit more character. Okay, so here is my knife up till now. Give you guys a little close up of it. Obviously, uh, it's not finished yet, still got a lot of work to do. But, got titanium screws that I've shortened off to fit, feel nicely recessed. Got the blade with a basic grind on it. So, there we go. I think part of the design is probably going to change for my next one. I think, if anything, I'd have to call this something like the long neck or something because it's got quite a, a strange. Uh, link to the gap between the blade and the handle here just looks a little bit odd but my idea for this one is you can see I've got a little bit of uh, a lip on the back of the blade there before the handle so I'm going to grind that flat down now I'm going to experiment with a bit of a rock pattern on the flats of the blade here so that's what I plan to do now with a Dremel Okay, so I've done a nice pattern on both sides of this now, as you can see there, looking pretty badass. Okay, so here's my blade after heat treating. Uh, I've gone over it just with a bit of scotch bright to clean off the worst of the scale. Um, but because I ground the textured rock pattern before I heat treated it, um, it's difficult to get it all out the bottom of the uh, crevices. So I'm just going to give it a quick once over with a sandblaster to clean it all up. Okay, so here's the blade all sandblasted. Now what I'm going to do is just dip it in some ferric chloride. Um, I've obviously left the spine of the knife un 
uh, sandblasted because I'm just interested as this is a prototype to see the difference in the finish between the two um, and then once I've done that we're going to give them a quick stone washing okay so here's all the different aspects of the knife just about to put it all together got the blade all nicely sharpened up got aluminium half G10 all polished as well um, and then all the titanium fixings I basically heat colored those up to a, a nice blue color which I think should go well with this knife so we'll stick it together and see what it looks like in the end okay so while I'm putting it together here I wanted to give you guys a quick demonstration of how it works and basically where the stop is and things like that so effectively the blade sits on there and then when the blade's fully open this basically locks out on this nut here so that will push down and then everything is nice and flush across the top of the blade and then as it closes it basically swings around and the same stud locks out on the inside here and with that it's a bit hard to see but it gives you a nice uh, about one to one and a half mil gap between the blade and the backspacer so there's no way that's going to uh, touch into it and blunt the blade or anything like that 